Hi everyone, this capacitor here went bad inside the AC unit. When these here things go bad, the fan stops turning. The fan stops turning and the compressor stops running. The way you can tell when these here capacitors go bad, they get a little bit of they get a little swollen at the top. It puffs up a little bit. And sometimes they get a little bit fat along the edges. This here one is a is a 30 mf and a 5 mf. There are two capacitors in one. One is for your compressor and one is for your fan. You can also check if you have a tester. You set it on your capacitor. You take your terminal, you put one to the common and one to hermetic. And if you don't get no reading, say in 30, if you don't get no reading, say in 5.0 that means your capacitor is bad so what I did is right now I don't have this here capacitor with me but I do have two other capacitors I have a 5 and I have a 20. So I'm going to use this here one on the compressor and I'm going to use the 5 for the fan. So what I already did I went and put both of them together. I put the the 20 for the capacitor for the compressor and I put the little 5 for the fan. Tape them up real good. Side it in there. This is just temporary fix just to keep the unit running until I'm able to by the one I just showed you. Always disconnect the power when you're working with this stuff. It can hurt you. Now that the power is back on, I'm just going to check it. The compressor just kicked in. So you can use two capacitors as long as the, um, the microferrix, which is a 5, and this here one is a 20. 5 for fan, 24 um, compressor. And I'll go to the, um, the AC shop to pick up this here one so I can, um, put this here back in the unit. Okay. I'm out.